Yeah. Lagoon, let's go check it out. Shoreham, Wildwater Lagoon. It's good. I'm here with Bob, Mark, TFA. What are you doing, Bob? We're going to go down to the Shoreham Fort today. We're going to check it out, see what's yeah, there. We're going to find out a bit of history. Bob's got his hard hat on, ready to ah. rock and roll, and um, show you some good stuff in the local area. So, yeah, come follow. Morning. 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 Mark is going to find us three facts about Shoreham Fort and he's not going to make them up. I can give you three right now. It's a fort, it's opposite the sea and it's the end of Shoreham. If we're going to try and find something a bit more interesting more than interesting that. More interesting facts than just that. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I don't believe anymore! <laughs> Look, no health and safety. I'm surprised spaces are allowed to be open. No, it's a score. Okay, MB fact number one, at the fall, and it's not going to be military. This place was used for filming in the early part of the 20th century. Shoreham is home of the early British film industry. Go to the Shoreham Museum, you can check it all out. But yeah, they used to film here because it shouted from the wind. And the person it was uh, Francis Lindhurst, famous uh, grandfather of Nicholas Lindhurst, who was in a uh, Goodnight Sweetheart and other British comedies. Yeah, he actually was director, he filmed here. So that's fact number one. So if you like your films, and your early film, come here because it's part of the history of British cinema. Fact number one. 4,000 yards. Okay, fact number two. Fact number two. This place was built because they were scared about the French invading again, trying to invade again, in the 1850s. Because the French had iron ships, much harder to defeat. They built this to trick the French because most coastal forts, their guns had a range of 800 yards. So the French would sell out of range. Oh, you can't hit us with your guns. This place guns had a range of 4,000 yards. So that anything coming near, we think it's a normal old fashioned fall, couldn't hurt them, pow, we're taking it out of the water. Clever British strategy there, yeah? So that's the reason why it's built, French invasion. People's story. This hut here was lived in by two women, two land girls, so it's kind of military. For 56 years they lived here. Crikey, what and do you think they got up to, Mark? A lot of jigsaw puzzles, lots of cups of tea, and uh, maybe TV, radio? I don't know. I have a very innocent mind, Bob, unlike you. <laughs> um, look at them. There they are, on the bike together. They look, they look very, very happy. Yeah. Maybe they escaped here to get away from the pressures of society and being unaccepting of people and certain lifestyles. Who knows? Who knows? But I'll be interested to find out. Yeah. They might have been sisters or just good friends. Who knows? Two. No. But that's my first fact. And it's what, I think they didn't actually live here at Shoreham before. They moved this here as yep. a gift shop stroke area to talk about things in, joke, yeah. school hut. But yeah, it's cool. my third fact. And this on the beach, and Mark thought it was plastic. But it's not plastic, it's a ray egg case. Ray egg case? It's too loud, yeah, ray egg case. Which is quite fascinating um, and interesting, because it really, if you listen to it, it really sounds like plastic. Yeah. It feels like plastic. Now, if anyone on YouTube knows what these things are, we'd really be interested in to find out. Mark, it's a ray egg case. Yeah, yeah. what is a ray egg? You don't know, do you, Bob? That's why we're to call out. If you know what these things are, tell us, because I like to know. What do you reckon that is? Can you see that circle there on the floor? And... Do you reckon it's... What do you think it is? I think it's a false field minted in 1870s to defeat to 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 against the French. I'll tell you what, Mark, the Ford Explorer would have known. Contact him and ask him. He knows everything. We're such amateurs. Amateurs, man. Amateurs playing at being stars. What can I say? Terrible. Right, so that's been lovely. Done the fault. It's Done been the good. Fault. And um, so just a quick opinion on this week. A man was arrested, 78-year-old man was arrested for defending his his fortress, his home, his family. Um, what do you think about that? Um... Uh... I think you have a right to defend your home. I think you don't have a right to kill people. But if someone came into my home late at night, tried stealing my stuff or hurting people, I'd defend myself. I, th I, th I, th I think in those situations, I think it takes over, doesn't it? I think you've got to do what you can to, to defend yourself. And 
I don't think you have much time to think about it. You it's, just you do whatever you can. It's flight or fight. Yeah. I think when that happens, it's flight or f it's fight or flight and, that kicks in. Yeah. And today, actually, he's the news broke. I think that he's been released without charge. Good. So that's good, good news. A friend of a friend, someone broke into the home, and had to sleep on their bed, and that oh that did you hear about the other thing that happened this week? No. Um, a man actually he, he was he broke into someone's house and he was taking a bath. He had made himself a beverage and he was taking a bath in this man's house and he got found and the, the, the man the, the manager's house it was called the police and the man, he actually ended up running out Do naked. Do you know what that is? So a smooth criminal, that's a clean criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. But uh, I am. Um, why don't you just knock on the door and ask to have a bath? <laughs> why don't you have to break in illegally? Uh, if someone says to me, "Excuse me, my friend, I need a bath." Uh, I might let them use a bath. I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm not sure so about that. okay. Know. Right, so that's been TFA this week. Yeah, with a fault. It's good. Check it out. It's free. It's a free thing. Come and look at it. It's history. Bring the kids here. There's stuff you can want run around, play soldiers, be a big kid. It's just fun. It's good to get out. It's good to get outside. It is. And people, get on your bikes, have a walk, get some fresh air. We spend too much time indoors these days. It's good to have some open space. We spend too much time on everything. Social media. We're trapped in our own little worlds. Get out and see the big world. Yep. Okay, guys. Have some fun. Peace and love. Be careful out there.